Zimbabwe, a nation rich in cultural heritage and breathtaking landscapes, has recently become the center of an extraordinary technological narrative. At the heart of this story is Sangulani Maxwell Chikumbutso, a self-taught inventor who has defied traditional scientific understanding with his groundbreaking innovations. From a young dreamer in Mazo to a pioneer in energy and transportation technology, Chikumbutso's journey has been filled with innovation, controversy, and even danger. Today, we dive into a story that has the potential to shake the global airwaves, one that could redefine the limits of science and technology as we know them. It is the tale of a young African scientist whose groundbreaking work challenges conventional understanding and introduces a revolutionary concept in transportation. Imagine a vehicle that defies everything we thought was possible, one that doesn't rely on gasoline, conventional batteries, or charging stations, but instead generates its own power indefinitely. If proven true, this could mark the dawn of a new era, disrupting industries, shifting economies, and positioning Africa as a major player in the global innovation landscape. Sangulani Maxwell Chikumbutso was born on November 10, 1980, in Mazoi, Zimbabwe. His childhood was marked by an early fascination with electronics despite coming from a humble background. He attended Hague Park Primary School before transferring to Kuadzana 5 Primary School. Later, he moved on to Divarasekwa 2 High School for his secondary education. However, Chikumbutso did not complete his formal studies, leaving school in Form 2, equivalent to the 8th grade. Despite this, his passion for electronics and mechanics remained undeterred. Without formal engineering training, he relied on self-education, consuming whatever information he could find on electrical engineering and physics. His breakthrough moment came when he started experimenting with radio frequencies and electromagnetic waves, which would later form the foundation of his most ambitious inventions. Determined to bring his ideas to life, Chikumbutso founded Scythe Technologies, a company aimed at developing advanced energy and transportation solutions. Through Scythe, he announced several groundbreaking projects, including a green power generator, a hybrid-powered helicopter, a drone surveillance system, a magnetic converter, the Scythe fully electric vehicle, Scythe FEV. Among these, the most revolutionary was the Scythe FEV which he claimed could generate its own power without the need for traditional fuel sources or battery recharging. The Scythe FEV is unlike any other electric vehicle on the market. Traditional electric vehicles, such as those produced by Tesla, rely on rechargeable lithium-ion batteries that require external charging. In contrast, Chikumbutso's vehicle reportedly harnesses radio frequency, RF, energy, and converts it into electrical power, eliminating the need for charging stations altogether. Unlike Tesla and other EVs, the Scythe FEV generates power on its own, bypassing the need for charging stations. Because it does not rely on fossil fuels, it could help reduce global carbon footprints. This car you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable, then you can power your house. If proven viable, the vehicle could run indefinitely without requiring an external power source. If successful, this could revolutionize not just the automobile industry, but the global energy sector as well. However, the scientific community remains skeptical as the concept of harnessing radio frequencies to generate self-sustaining power contradicts known principles of physics, particularly the laws of thermodynamics. No independent scientific validation of this technology has been provided yet. As with many groundbreaking inventors, Chikumbutso's journey has not been without danger. He has alleged that he survived an assassination attempt in the United States where he and a colleague were reportedly poisoned. Tragically, his colleague did not survive. The details surrounding this incident remain murky, but Chikumbutso has claimed that his disruptive technologies 
have made him a target of powerful interests that benefit from the current energy infrastructure. Following this incident, Chikumbuzo spent time in the US, reportedly working with unnamed American investors and organizations interested in his technologies. His work abroad raised further curiosity as many speculated that he had secured funding to develop his inventions outside of Zimbabwe. However, no public disclosure has been made about the specific partnerships he formed in the US. While Chikumbuzo has previously demonstrated prototypes of his self-powered vehicle, the official commercial launch is eagerly anticipated. As of now, no confirmed date has been set, but recent statements suggest that Scythe Technologies is finalizing its production model. If the claims about the vehicle are validated, this launch could disrupt the global electric vehicle industry, directly competing with companies like Tesla. Elon Musk's Tesla has been a leader in the electric vehicle revolution, building a global infrastructure of charging stations and advancing battery technology. If Chikumbuzo's technology is verified and mass-produced, it could pose a direct challenge to Tesla and other automakers. Here's how. Elimination of charging infrastructure. Tesla and other automakers invest heavily in charging networks. A self-powering vehicle would make these obsolete. Cheaper production costs. If Chikumbuzo's technology is viable, it could dramatically lower the cost of EV ownership by removing the need for expensive lithium-ion batteries. Disrupting the energy sector. This technology could also affect the oil and renewable energy industries as it eliminates reliance on external energy sources. However, without third-party validation, skepticism remains and it is unclear if established automakers will adopt or challenge his claims. The rise of Chikumbuzo represents a potential turning point for Zimbabwe, a country often associated with economic difficulties rather than technological innovation. His success could position Zimbabwe as a leader in alternative energy and transportation technologies. President Emerson Mnangagwa has acknowledged Chikumbuzo's contributions, emphasizing the need to support homegrown innovations. However, challenges remain, including securing industrial-scale funding, overcoming scientific skepticism, and gaining regulatory approvals. Sangulani Maxwell Chikumbuzo's story is a compelling mix of ambition, ingenuity, and controversy. If his claims hold up to scrutiny, he could revolutionize the energy and transportation industries, potentially changing the way the world views Zimbabwean innovation. However, until independent verification of his technology emerges, the scientific community and the automotive industry remain cautiously skeptical. The world will be watching closely as Scythe Technologies prepares for the official launch of the Scythe FEV. If validated, this could be the most significant technological breakthrough of the century.